name is Ashley Matthews, and I am a senior MDIS student here at Columbia Seminary. And if I were to tell a story about Columbia and what I love about Columbia, it would have to start with the very first time that I stepped foot on campus here. I did not have a formal interview. I just decided to come and walk around the campus and see where the spirit of the Lord was leading. And I ended up calling my mother from the stairwell of Campbell Hall and telling her that I felt an immense amount of peace just in being here, which I thought was exceptionally um, important because this was a place of graduate studies. And so that it felt like midway through a semester, a place of peacefulness. Um, said a lot to me about this place and I have found that to be consistently true throughout the three years that I've been here. It has been a, a place not only of, of profound peace but um, also faithful stretching. I had, when I came to Columbia, I had become a person who was rather rigid in my thinking both biblically and theologically, even though I wouldn't have admitted it at the time. And this place has encouraged me to um, step into a place of acceptance and freedom and to listen, and for that I am totally grateful. I remember my very first class with Kathleen O'Connor and Christine Yoder in Old Testament survey. Um, you will hear people say that books change their lives, or a poem change their life, or maybe a movie or a, um, a meeting with someone, and that first day of Old Testament survey was that moment for me. I felt a shift occur within the belly of my person um, that perhaps the Lord was at work doing a new thing in me and encouraging me and inviting me to uh, look at the text, not only the text in a, in a new way, in a fresh way, but also um, the body around me. And um, I am deeply grateful for that. I uh, also here, I started out as an MATS student because I wasn't sure about the particulars of my calling and what that looked like for me, although I've always sensed a call to the ministry. I didn't know exactly what that was going to look like or what form that would take. And um, so I started as an MATS student just to explore and take classes that I was interested in. And along the way, um, through the very attentive care of the faculty and the students here, um, began to listen to them and to come around to the idea of ordained ministry. Um, as a Southern Baptist girl, was a very big deal and um, something I will never ever forget. I had been there all along but it was a voice that I didn't know how to listen to or, um, or, or how to follow. So um, as of the last year I am entering into the ordination process within my tradition which is the Anglican Mission tradition and um, just recently began working at a church here in Atlanta as an assistant pastor which two of which are things that I would have never dreamed would have been true of me. And, uh, theological education will continue to be, by virtue of my calling, um, an ever-present reality, and something that I really I can't imagine living without. And there truly would have been no greater place for me to um, to have garnered that calling and to have wrestled through it and prayed through it and listened um, to the voice of the Lord uh, than Columbia. It has been has been a home for me for the last three years and um, I am deeply indebted and deeply grateful.